it's been a hot little minute since you've seen me, but it's been years since you've seen Ellis as well. So we thought while I'm in England, we film a little, little sister love, a little something something together. So Ellis's drag style has changed severely over the years. So dramatically. Yeah, it's a little bit more subtle, more natural woman. Fish. Get me a husband now. Yeah, get this we're calling this look get me a daddy, get me a husband, get me off Tinder. That is Give me someone over 35 with his own teeth and good credit. Please. Thanks. So we just thought we would redo one of our old videos. So that video was Drag Queen does my makeup. We've been doing this video for about five hours. <laughs> I mean, we've not really been doing the makeup. We've just been turning the camera off and on again. None of us could remember what to do. I'm a little bit older now. <laughs> so here's the video. <laughs> so to create this look, Ellis pretty much used full face of Anastasia Beverly Hills. Mm -hmm. We wanted to have hey. a little beast moment. Pay homage to Queen Ellis. On the screen somewhere, we will put a picture of how she looked last time, which was oh, a choice. <laughs> Boost! It's Miss Piggy and Drag. It is Miss Piggy and Drag. Today we're going to be using the. Where did I put it? Not even got the palette out. Don't even care. We're going to be using this. Emily's skin is already prepped with the Anastasia oil because we thought we'd do a full face of Anastasia because. Emma's not really tried too much from Anastasia, have you? Just shadows and some brow stuff. Yeah. So we're going to do everything Anastasia if we can. So like foundation, contour, everything. Oh, what so are you going to do with this hair, sis? We're going to get this um, hair. What, 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 what are you about to say? A choice. We're going to get this choice and pin it back. I don't know what you're on about, bowl cut Billy. <laughs> So I just used my brow Anastasia palette to do Emily's brows off camera and then I just concealed it with the eye primer which is like this kind of colour here and it like sets kind of matte and Emily's got oily skin so <laughs> winning. What do you say about my skin? <laughs> she a slug. I actually am though. And then just go down one. And now I'm just going to use the same primer just to prime the lids ready for the eyeshadow. And this is some new product. Some new shit. We got them exclusives on this channel. So how's your life been since Glow Up, Alice? Well, now I'm rich, y'all, so. <laughs> There's the tea. That's the tea, sis. Do you know who's not rich? Me. You. Oh, Me. You will be soon. I will be, eventually. Give me them coins. <laughs> Give me those quintatas. Coins. What was your favourite thing about doing Glow Up? Um, I think my favourite thing from Glob was A, meeting everyone, Tiff, Lee, Belinda. Aww, all the gals. All the gals and Fashion Week. I loved doing Fashion Week. It was oh, so yeah. much fun. Like, how, how many models did you actually do for Fashion Week uh, on we that had, episode? We had 15 to do between five. I say five of us, but one of us wasn't pulling our weight. Um, so four of us. Tea. Um, Tea! <laughs> and yeah, 15 models with hair costumes, mm -hmm. dress rehearsal, runway, everything. Two and a half hours for 15 models and all that shit going on as well. Craziness. So we're gonna use um, Believe and we're just gonna start by packing that on. Tap, tap, tapping it in. Tap that shit in. So Emma's got like a hooded eye, so we just created. Excuse create me? <laughs> so I'm just kind of mapping out where this banging new crease is gonna be. You need to start with that song. Oh, I've got TikTok stuck in my head. We are now TikTok wizards. We're lit on TikTok. We are obsessed. Like I'm literally obsessed with TikTok. I did it at first for a campaign, and now TikTok is life. Now she's TikTok queen. Honestly, like I have like fourteen thousand followers on TikTok, and my most viewed video is like half a million views, which. Instagram, where you at with that engagement? Oh, don't get me started on Insta. So the reason why I've not been on Insta properly posting looks for so long, because I moved to Dubai like a year and a half ago and my engagement just fell off the earth. And I always thought it was something that I was doing. And like, to be fair, like it is to some extent because I stopped posting, but also 
when I come back to the UK, I gain followers again. So now I'm just blending the pink shade with the purple shade. I normally do that now, so I don't really do that kind of typical like Instagram way of applying makeup. I'm a little bit more like older fashion. But the one thing I do do now is pack on that colour. Fucking pack, pack, pack it on and then just worry oh. about blending it out after. Well, last time you made me look like Little Piggy, so this time maybe I'll be a little pound cake. <laughs> little pig? Little pig. Give you have shotgun nostrils last time. <laughs> I need to look. At the door. <laughs> I got you working on your day off. <laughs> oh my god, T. Hey. So now I'm just going to cut the crease with the eye primer. I'm the bad guy. Duh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Billy, if you see oh. this, we love you. We're going to do one of the pigments on the lid. We're going to do this white silver one. It's a look. Just hide oh. it under my eyes. <laughs> I'm here. We're just gonna do a winged liner off camera in here and then we'll be right back. Ow. <laughs> Eyeliner, you could never. Right, what can I say? So since you've been working with Val, what's like the most valuable thing that you've learned or the best thing that you've learned? Or Honestly, I think it's just confidence. Like. I think because I've been watching and been working so closely with her that I just feel we're more confident in my skills and how I do things. Yeah. And I think he said like second guessing myself, I was thinking, oh, can I do that? Now I'm just like, now nah, I'm gonna do it. You see how she does things and how confident she's with her brush strokes and how she's with the clients, and it just makes you be like, right, well, I just need to get this shit done. Yeah, you're just do like, you know I can I mean? do this. So if you could change anything about like your experience on glow up what would you change i don't really look back at any point on the show and think oh god like why did i say that or why did i do that like i'm ellis through and through and i'm not going to do anything to change that what i loved about watching it and obviously like being your bestie is i know what you're like all the time mm -hmm. so for me to watch you on tv and you just be yourself it's like it's nice right it's yeah it's because if you would have, if I would have watched Glow Up and been like, Why is he acting a fool? Who the fuck is like, that? I don't know him. Yeah, it's like, who is that? That would be so like, oh my God. And then it would be hard for me to kind of like, get behind you and support you because I would just be like, Why oh my you God, you're being so fake. Like, like who yeah. is that? So it was really good to just see you just being yourself and not trying to like, be anyone else. I think as well, like, a lot of the time, like, it depends why you're going on a TV show in the first place. Like, mm -hmm. I didn't know what Glow Up was. It's never been done before, so I had no idea, pardon me, what was going to happen. I just was like, oh, let's just see what happens. And when we got there, it escalated very quick, quickly because we went from being in the situation where we had no idea what was happening to all of a sudden we was, like, working for Marie Claire and Nikita Taurus were a guest judge. And we, I was like, fuck. Like, like I oh my god this. Yeah. yeah and it went from being like a drive down a country lane to being like 300 miles an hour on the motorway and what i liked as well is there's a couple of times where you were helping i think you helped bran and lee mm -hmm. bran in... and everyone i helped everyone at there some was... point guaranteed there was a couple of times that were shown on the show where you like were helping the other contestants in the competition like people like bran were a huge competition and they de generally didn't have the best ride on the show but they're insane makeup artists yeah and if you look at her work now she's insane even then when we were on the even show even before when we were filming the show i put her down as someone who was to watch yeah for sure do you know what i mean like people was like oh so and so so and so and i was like this person is someone to watch and bran was you know she's so so good i love bran's looks now like, I think the makeup that she does is insane. Mm -hmm. And she's stunning as well. Oh my god, she makes me sick. And it's just so Look beautiful. She's so gorgeous. So now I'm going to do foundation. And you've noticed we've changed the eye a little bit. We've kind of made it a bit more like severe. So it's a bit more draggy looking. Um, that's just personal preference. And you want me to sit in how I wanted it to sit either. Um, and now we're just doing foundation. So I'm just using that Anastasia foundation thick which I really cream it and really good coverage, so I only like to 
apply a little bit and then I'll just start to brush it into the skin and then I'll just build the coverage as I need to. So do you really like these sticks for drag? Like, do you think it's enough coverage for drag or enough coverage for like heavy Insta Glam? Mm, I like the sticks because you can get every kind of coverage. So like I can do an invisible foundation with it if I need to. Mm -hmm. So if I'm just running out to shops and my skin's a little bit red and blotchy because I've done an acid peel or something, I can quickly just chuck on a light amount. And I think for drag, you can just build it up. My only issue is that if you are going to be doing full coverage glam with them all the time, I would imagine they'd run out quite fast. So you're not getting the most product in there? No, because they are a stick, so they are designed to be full coverage, but no foundation really is designed to be layered as much as drag of makeup is. So Other than like TV paint stick maybe. Yeah, so and I think a lot of people struggle with that concept of like, oh my foundation went out, and I'm like, well, if you're wearing a million layers, then, then that's why. obviously it's going to run out and not going to last you as long because how can it, you know? Exactly. I've just started to wear less makeup in Dubai now. Like I used to cake on my foundation and now I've stopped doing that. I think a lot of the time people find comfort in more makeup, but more makeup sometimes equals more noticeable makeup, whereas yeah. less makeup can give you a more natural finish which makes you look more beautiful and people don't know you're wearing makeup. I felt like, especially because when I'm in Dubai, I'm obviously I'm a bit more tan and I'm like getting sun on my face and stuff. I feel like my skin looks healthier anyway, so I can get away with wearing less makeup. And I've noticed that I feel like I look fresher and younger because mm -hmm. I'm not fucking caking my makeup on and getting loads stuck under my eyes. Because I don't have wrinkles under my eyes, but I feel like sometimes I've created them by wearing too much makeup. People watch my videos, like real women are like, oh, I, I watch your videos to do my makeup. And I'm like, why? Why? Because like, I'm a man. <laughs> I'm a man, I'm a drag queen. And I wear this to a club, and even when I go out to like a beauty event, I don't wear this much makeup. I tone it down a lot, so it's a lot more fresher in real yeah. life. I feel like people, well, like especially like females, are watching drag makeup and looking at this new Insta style, and they're not realizing that it's drag. It's all drag. Like oh, yeah, you yeah, don't yeah. need to be wearing this much makeup mm, all no. the time. And I'm not trying to tell people what to do because, girl, we all know. Three years ago, I was wearing the absolute most makeup. But I think now as I'm getting a little bit older, my style's changing like a little bit. <laughs> Get up. Bruce. Oh, I'm glad your beauty blender smells nice. At oh least I know God. your shit's clean. Could you imagine it smells like Bob Rill? Oh! <laughs> smells like dog's breath. Oh my God. So my pug is the cutest pug in the world, but he stinks. It stinks so bad. Is this Jeffrey? No, this is Sephora. Oh, Sister Sephora. Sister Cheap Sephora, but does the goddamn trick, y'all. Heard it here first, guys. Sephora. Hashtag Sephora. Ooh, president, sis, yes. We were like, you want a president in your jeans? Oh, yeah. Banging that on me chops, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> that feels really weird. <laughs> Get off! Oh, this feels so weird. <laughs> so this is Anastasia that you're using. So we're just using that saddle bronzer first. And I just like to like stipple it into the skin. Ooh. Stipple, stipple, bitch, stipple, stipple. Boop, 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 boop. Ooh, they're nice. Yeah, see with Anastasia I've mainly used eyeshadow palettes. I've got quite a few of them actually. And then brow products. Mm -hmm. I've never really used anything else. I really like all that stuff because it's all like, I don't know, it just, I think it just works. Yeah. And I like to use a brand where I know that everything works. So I just kind of quickly baked under the chops, down the sides of the nose, off camera. <laughs> chops? <laughs> <laughs> just to see what's going to happen. I don't know. And then I'm just going to use this highlight palette. And I'm going to start off with Gumdrop, which is gold with a pink reflect. And we're just going to start that back up here. Yeah, bitch, I want to be like, blind, like blinding. Am I blinding yet? I like this one too, because it's got like a pink reflect, so it almost adds like a little bit of a blushy glow. Are you a sales rep for these? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this video is sponsored. Um... <laughs> Not really. No, it's not. It's honestly not sponsored. I would tell you if it was. 
You wish it was sponsored, girl. Yeah, innit? <laughs> so I'm just lining my lips with this Anastasia lipstick. Oh my god, we should have done a video like that. And that's Lyle Obama. This is like real life horror movie. <laughs> Beast! Okay, so I'm just going to use the Anastasia juicer and the Beast fan to drench that shit. So you just keep going and going. And then... for this drag queen does my makeup video if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel thank you so much for watching bye <laughs> oh it's lit tiktok it's lit it's where it's at tiktok lit yo <laughs> kitty wickedy i'm 28 <laughs> <laughs> oh come back you minge teasing. Busted! You minge teasing bastards! Right, that'll do. Yeah! <laughs> now get out of there. What are you doing? My pussy. I'm coming up. So you better get this party started. I'm coming up. You better. <laughs> Bye!